Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tomorrow I am flying out to Pittsburgh for a quick trip. I'm literally leaving Monday morning and I'm coming back Wednesday morning. So super, super quick trip. I'm flying out to go meet everybody from Axe and Sledge and to film content for them. I am currently less than three weeks out right now, as of today. I'm two weeks and six days out from my national show. Traveling is never the easiest on prep and it is not easy given that I am this close to show, but it is a super quick flight from here and I'm not really packing much. I'm trying to be minimal. I'm gonna channel my inner minimalist because I am not a minimalist, but I'm a wannabe minimalist. So let's get packing. We got some traveling to do. I had actually just gone to Marshall's because I don't have a small little carry-on luggage case like this. So I just went and grabbed one from Marshall's. This one I think was $60, which is a pretty good deal. It locks, it has plenty of storage inside, and I should have no problem fitting everything in here. Oh, it's not all gonna fit. <laughs> I told you guys that me not overpacking is gonna be really hard, so now let's actually weed through this stuff. Okay, I consolidated into one of these cubes. Okay, I'm taking a minute break from the packing. Look at how cute this makeup bag is. I got it from Marshall's today for $12. And then I found a matching one. I don't have a nice travel kind of makeup bag like this. So I figured why not get it? It was super, super good quality. And then this one can be for like jewelry and I guess other things. I won't be taking this one on this trip because it's not needed. I was able to fit everything in here. Okay, it's later in the day and a whole ton of meal prepping later. Got everything done. Here is all of my meal prepped meals. Mostly everything is in containers. The only meals that I actually put together were the meal that I need to eat on the plane, both of my breakfast meals for Tuesday and Wednesday, and, and both of my last meals of the day for Monday and Tuesday. Everything else I just prepped the amount that I needed and put it in a container and it is going to go in this compartment of my carry-on with freezer, ice bags, whatever it's called, ice packs on top of it. Gonna be a tight squeeze, but make it work. My backpack is also filled to the brim. It's a lot to pack. That's pretty much all I need to do today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow during my travel day. Okay, I'm at the Axe and Sledge gym now. We just took some photos, I'm about to train. I'm filming for their YouTube. We're also gonna film here too, because I love you guys too much. I still get a Rice Krispie Treat. Really weird, two and a half weeks out, and I get a Rice Krispie Treat, like, yeah. Never gets old.
walked into the room after my workout. Look at how cute all this stuff is. They left me like a cute little welcome. And then a bunch of stuff here, water. And I specifically asked for this mustard. You guys know that I need this. Like this is a must for me. I, and this is something I couldn't bring through TSA. I okay, asked what I needed. Um, protein, water, and yellow mustard. But this is all so cute. This is so sweet. Honestly, today has been so just like surreal. I'm traveling here by myself, which is like crazy. This is a big girl step for me because usually I always have Anthony with me, but this is a little solo trip. And I trained, I got photos for them, I filmed content for them. Then I went on my phone and my dad had texted me. I got posted on Alphalete's page today, which was like, oh my God, like that was the first for me. And I was really excited. There were like solo pictures of me that I took for this recent launch. And I saw and I was like, this is just so surreal. I'm so thankful I could be in this position. So thank you guys for supporting me to put me in this position. Like this is really freaking cool. But I'm gonna shower now, get relaxed for the night. And then I have to edit a YouTube video. Not this one, I have to edit another one. Catch you guys later. Actually, I need to show you guys how I packed my food because I didn't get to show you guys yet how psychotic this is. <laughs> Okay, so here's my suitcase. This is all of my clothes. I have some supplements in here. Here's one of the funny business accounts. Oh, oh my God, it kind of spilled. Shit, ta-da. But I have all of my food here, mostly in bags, some plates, and a bunch of ice packs to keep everything cold. So nothing should have gone bad. Everything is honestly still cold, which is a good thing. Okay, it is nighttime and I'm eating my last meal of the day, which I'll kind of show you how I packed this one because this is a interesting meal so i put my egg whites in the form of waffles because i use like that dash mini waffle maker i have one hard-boiled egg here which i don't really like hard-boiled eggs so i tried to medium boil it or whatever you call it and asparagus and then sadly no almond butter so 10 grams of almonds instead no almond butter because i simply just couldn't pack it because it's liquidy and i feel like tsa would take it also my allergies are like really bad today my skin is so sensitive i feel like my throat like you kind of hear i feel I sound like a little raspy. I took my allergy medicine, so I hope I wake up feeling better tomorrow. But I'm gonna eat this meal, finish editing my video because I'm pretty much done. I've been grinding. I've been on the game. We have a busy, busy day tomorrow. So I'm gonna do all these things and then go night night. I'm also going to take this sleep aid because it honestly helps so much. I don't think I updated you guys on how I felt taking this. It knocked me the fuck out. Like this is no joke. I probably should have started with half a scoop. I took this. I was sitting down eating my meal. I was sitting there and I was like, whoa, I need to go to bed. I'm really, really tired. I literally felt my body just like take a deep breath and start shutting down. Like I was ready for bed, but I was still up. So it works really well. I slept really, really good that night and I woke up feeling great the next morning. So because it was a long travel day today and everything like that, I'm taking this. We're sleeping good tonight. Hold on a second. Tell me why I made a really good medium boiled egg. Look at that. Oh my God, it is so perfect. I bought that $12 mini dash quick egg maker and it actually worked. I'm very impressed. But okay, for realsies, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I did my cardio. I'm about to eat my breakfast. I'm kind of running late. So I have to skedaddle. I need to pack all of my things that I need for today, like my meals, finish my makeup, but yeah. That's just kind of where I'm at. Did hotel cardio, which was good. On with my day. Okay, I didn't get to film it all today. I had a super, super long day, but a really cool day. I filmed more content with Axe and Sledge, and then we actually head over to the MPC gym, and I got to check all of that out. That was in just a different area of Pittsburgh. I don't really know where that is, but I'll kind of throw up photos here. It was really cool. I got to pose, check out the gym, meet some people. Awesome, awesome experience. Really, really cool. Like, I'm super grateful that I got to do that, and super thankful that Seth and Axe and Sledge had brought me over there. Really cool experience. But now it is time to train. Gonna make my pre-workout. It's later in the day. It is already almost five o'clock. So I'm like feeling a little sleepy. We gotta get some caffeine in. And we have a lot of supplements here to work with. Look at how beautiful. But I'm gonna go with my norm. I don't know, should I try Island Breeze? That sounds interesting. Let's try it, okay. Mm. I have to go with this. It's just way too good. The stack of the day. This is gonna be my stack of the day. Usually I do Fruit Kaboom instead of Island Breeze, but let's try it out because I never tried this flavor yet. God, it smells exactly like peach rings. Oh my God, I want peach rings now. I want real ones. Cheers to my second and the last workout in Pump Town and a quick one because I'm sleepy. Wow. No. This one tops fruit kaboom. I need this pre-workout. 
That was amazing. Right, you guys I'm back in the hotel and interesting text I just got Kyle told me to stop hitting delts like entirely I'm actually in a state of shock and taking out three rest days a week which the only reason why that sucks is because a rest day diet for another day is ass he said he'll probably modify it you guys I, I don't know my delts have just been growing in my sleep recently I'm kind of delulu and I don't know how I grew like this I mean I definitely trained really fucking hard like I train hard. How did I get like this? How did I get like that? Confused. Like I, guys, I'm not even joking. Kyle took out 100% of delts out of my plan. Last season, my delts were too small. This year, they are becoming too big. And then even my arms, like I haven't trained biceps in a hot minute. Nothing more than like three sets of 10 curls with dumbbells with not super heavy weight, like moderate weight. This off season is about to be really freaking interesting. I'm gonna have like three leg days a week and zero upper body days. <sighs> I gotta pick up a new hobby probably. Or we gotta think for the future here. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go back into hot yoga. Pilates, should I become Pilates? That would be fun. Pilates queen. I should just try workout classes. Like, oh my God, this is so cool. Trust me, I don't wanna grow out of bikini. So I'm not like itching to grow to where I need to switch divisions. No, I love bikini. I've been so focused on growth for so long. Now I'm like, oh my God, leading it up into this off season. Like, you know what actually I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the beach so many times a week. That's gonna be epic. That was just like the, the most interesting thing that has happened. Oh, listen, actually this entire trip was super interesting and super crazy and super fulfilling and really just insane. Like I, I cannot believe that this is my life right now. But at the same time, I also cannot believe that something that I've been working towards for this long, I like achieved it. Like I achieved delt growth. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Literally me right now because I feel accomplished. Woo, I'm accomplished. I just poked myself in the eye. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go shower. I need to drink a lot more water today because I'm a little behind on water. And then I need to pack. I grew my delts. So it's later in the night and I had to order a bag of asparagus because I'm an idiot. That was the one thing I forgot to pack. No big deal though, Instacart saves the day. And they had a $10 minimum. The asparagus was like $4. So I got two packs of gum and a thing of sugar-free Jello that I guess I could snack on to fulfill that $10 minimum. So I'm gonna snack on this Jello once I finish my asparagus. 
I won't forget to pack food like that again. Thankfully, it was just asparagus and it wasn't a protein source that would have been really hard to get. My goodness. This trip was very quick, but also very long at the same time, just super busy. And it was just really freaking cool. It's such a cool experience. I'm so thankful that I'm able to do this and I'm able to work with such great companies like Axe and Sledge and like Alphalete that take care of their athletes super, super well and keep their athletes involved. And it's just, I feel so great to be in the position that I'm in. And I just love sharing my life on here with you guys and that's truly all I could ask for is I just have fun being with you guys and hanging with you guys. Welcome to the club if you're new and I hope you enjoy my crazy weird kind of odd, I don't know, personality. Am I weird? Like my asparagus is done though. I'm gonna eat that. See you guys later or tomorrow morning. Not sure when yet. Hi guys, I am currently back home. If you can't tell, back in my apartment. I actually sat down and edited this video. Today's travel day was just super long. Honestly, the tiredness that built up from Monday and Tuesday just hit me in the face today, super, super hard. I was like rushing through the airport to make my flight because I kind of cut it a little close, but that's okay. And took a little nap today, got my video done getting settled back home, getting my meals in. But I just wanted to come on here to close out the video to just seriously thank you guys so much. I mentioned it in my video, I think a couple times, but I wouldn't be able to be in this position and I wouldn't have been able to travel out with Axe and Sledge. I wouldn't have been able to do such cool things if it weren't for you guys supporting my videos. And I just appreciate it and I hope you guys see that and understand it. Thank you guys for watching. I've been getting such good feedback on these videos and it makes me super happy to see so many of you guys enjoying it or just feeling like we're hanging out or getting advice from me. And like, that's my point of making videos. That's why I like to make videos. I like to hang out with you guys and just chat and I like to help people and I like to just be me. That's seriously all that I want to do. I love making these videos because I feel like I'm, I'm just chilling with my friends, even though you guys are through a screen. But, but seriously, thank you guys so much. Please make sure that you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you all. See you in the next one. Peace out.